everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your friendly neighborhood hobgoblin here. Another day, another allergy attack. We are persevering, attempting. Um, I'm getting ready for errands yet again. Um, the last video I filmed some of the errands, I did not do that day. So now I have to do today, which is totally fine because I'm off today. Um, but yeah, let's get some moisturizer on. I am super proud I washed a good chunk. I washed half of my eyebrushes yesterday. Well, I washed my favorite half of eyebrushes. So whenever um, I really need new brushes, I um, I have um, different containers. I have three containers. One container is all my mishmash brushes. The other container are my favorite Morphe ones, my Real Techniques, and the Blend Bunny ones. And then the other containers, all my food day and some of my like staple Morphe ones, like the Jaclyn Hill Beast Mode Blender. That girl knows how to make a brush. Um, oh, well, they haven't discontinued. I was going to say that'd be cool if she did that brush in her line, but it's not been discontinued, so it's okay. All right, I'm going to start with brows. I don't know. We're just going to throw these on. I just have to go to the pet store. Gotta get food and treats for the children, and then I'm gonna go to Five Below. Really random things, like I need a birthday card. I need to get a little gift for someone. So we'll see. I gotta stop buying clothes at Five Below, and if I do, I need to start like sizing up like a lot. I bought a mermaid shirt from there the other day, and I got a medium because I held it up. I was like, oh, it's perfect because I would say I'm a medium in most things. Very tight. Really tight. Um, wish I got an extra large. Tight. Like, I don't like things to be tight across my tummy, and I got that shirt to wear to work, and I do hair, so my torso is pretty much in someone's view, like, the whole time. So I don't like skin-tight things. That has never been my vibe not for me. Um, let's grab some concealer. I gotta use something I haven't used in a while because I have been so bad with my concealers lately. I don't think I've used anything besides like three different ones. Let's use this one. I don't know if y'all watch her. Um, Shelby Wilson talks about this one a lot. It's the Age Perfect Radiant Concealer by L'Oreal. I got the shade Natural Beige 215. I was not able to find this in my local stores, so I had to get this off Amazon. So I am going to just apply that and a little there and a little there. I need to wash my hair later today, but I don't want to do it right now because... I colored it last week, so it's going to bleed a lot, and I don't want to have to worry about, like, my hair staining my neck or my shirt or my bod. Not that it would stain this shirt, but I'd rather deal with that at night and maybe blow dry it. I just don't have time right now because I need to get my errands done before I have something else to do. But luckily, I live about six minutes from a pet store, so I have to get dog food and then some cat food the wet cat food i like to give her wet food every once in a while but i'm gonna see if i can get like a mega pack because it's really not that expensive i mean she's a kitten so they're small i feel like they were less than two dollars for each little can so we shall see all right let's look up close yeah That's pretty. I think it looks fine. No complaints. Um, very quickly, I do want to say regarding my mirrors, um, I own things. Like, I already owned them. I already had them. I'm going to use them, and I'm not going to just throw things away. Take that as you will. Let's go into bronzer. I'm using Power Boost from Rare. It's peanut buttery. Um, I like peanut butter bronzers. This is not the shade I would have gotten for myself, but I was gifted it by a friend who wanted me to try the formula, and I really do like it. And look, I cleaned 
some of my brushes. I'm actually really sad. These cheap friends brushes I got from TJ Maxx are like wiggly. So sad. Maybe it just has to do with my undertone. Because I feel, I know, I know in my heart of hearts that the peanut butter bronzers are not good for a good majority of people. I'm positive. But for me, I feel like it's not really, this brush does not feel good after it's been washed. Um, I feel like it's not too bad on me. I still feel like it looks really natural. My hair, it's not a cat hair. All right, and then I do want to do, we're going out of order today. We're going out of order today. Um, I'm gonna do blush. I have this Say blush in Rosie. I've been using the shade, I think it's spicy. I used that a couple times because I was going for more of like a like a little sunburnt look. This is gonna be a lot of blush, but I don't care. I heard though the only con with these brushes is over time um, they settle and like separate in the container. Um, which, you got, I gotta be realistic, like, it's not that surprising with a gel liquid, because it's not a cream. It's kind of like how, well, no, the NARS ones are, like, pure liquid. This one I would classify as, like, a gel, liquid gel formula. Ooh, you know what? I know they have a bronzer in, like, a tub, but I bet if they did a bronzer in this formula, it would be really pretty. out the under eyes Ooh. still liking the concealer can't complain I'm gonna use a powder highlight today because who am I I don't know um this is the Natasha Denona super glow in fair I had light medium but this is fair and for some reason my Natasha Denona glow powders I always like using one of these weird giant highlighting brushes with them I don't know when this video is going to go up, but this, these were half off at Sephora, and I mean, these were some of the products I used for my wedding, so I just wanted the lighter shade. I know I liked it. I'm not going to justify it. We're already here. It already happened. Okay, let's figure out eyeshadow. I'm thinking maybe one and done. Something just pretty. Well, what type of pretty do we want? Um, let us look. So I built this little palette out of my Sydney Gray singles, but I don't think I want to go into this right now. Maybe. Again, I'm really trying to get use out of my Sydney Gray singles, okay? Like, I'm trying really hard. Maybe we'll go into the Quintessence Deep. And I'll dip into the Matte Parallax and then Milky Way. Yeah, I'm still, I don't want to say testing the formula. I feel like in my head that sounds silly to say. I'm still just trying to figure out, like, if I like the Sydney formula. I've had the Temptalia palettes for a year. Um, I use them once in a while. I won't say I don't use them, but they're not favorites. But some of it's the color story. I do love, like, if I could only pick one, it would be the On the Horizon for those, gr the greens. So pretty. So, so pretty. Let's take a Morphe, the Nyan FF3. These are some of my favorite brushes ever. And I'm taking Parallax, which is, like, the darker taupe. And again, I have, um, I have the deep version for this one and then the light for the On the Horizon. There's just something about their matte formula. I don't know why I have such a hard time with it. Okay, 
okay, it looks okay, but I really used such a sheer amount. I'm sure you can see how little is there. It's it's strange to me because I feel like there isn't a learning curve to this formula, like to the brand, because I know so many people that only use Sydney Grace. Like, I don't want to say, what's a good way to say it? Like, regular makeup users, not like hardcore enthusiasts collecting every indie shadow like it's a different type of person and I feel like I know a lot of people that just truly enjoy Sydney Grace for the ease of it because they are not I don't want to say an advanced level but you get what I mean like they're not out here doing crazy editorial they're just doing everyday more basic type looks um, I am going to dip into the darker color called Reaching Zenith. It's like a blacky, bluey something. We're just going to tap that on the outer. Not even the full outer V. I'm doing like the really edge corner. And then something helpful for my eye shape is I kind of have my eyes open when I blend this outer corner because I need it to connect to this little, I don't know, I feel like my eyes are half hidden, So I need it to connect so it doesn't look like there's just a hole in my eyeshadow. On a completely other note, who's watching Only Murders in the Building? slay my life that show is so good we just finished episode eight and i don't know how we're on episode eight like it's been seven weeks of this show what in the heck um i love it so much i've always loved martin short um i grew up watching a simple wish and the hallmark alice in wonderland and i'm sure many other things um steve martin we love, oh, God, he was in so many things I used to watch. Uh, he was in Cheaper by the Dozen, right? Um, love him in Little Shop of Horrors and uh, Sgt. Pepper and Lonely Hearts, Sgt. Pepper, the, the movie. Um, like, I just love him. And I always thought Selena Gomez was absolutely stunning, Slay My Life, beautiful. And I really enjoy her voice. I don't know. This is the Milky Way. Just her speaking voice is really, um, I don't know. I just, I just love the tone in which she speaks. Also, she is hair goals for me. Like, I truly wish every hairstyle she did I could do. This palette doesn't have a proper inner corner shade, so I am going- it sounds like my dog is outside and I'm like 900% sure I brought her in. Stress. Um, this palette to me doesn't have an inner corner highlight shade, so I'm going to dip into On the Horizon and grab Heart Dog. Mm, no, I'm gonna do Lunar Illumination, which it's more of a pink purple base but I'm doing it it's like an ice lavender but really sheerly maybe I'll go to TJ Maxx and see if they have strawberry table because I'm really upset that strawberry table blew up on TikTok and now I can't get it strawberry garden table I've been into strawberries since um, summer fifth grade, so uh, I was here first. Um, Y'all need to step back, like, strawberries are my thing. Okay, let's take the milk, whatever this is, the high volume mascara. Really don't know why I'm saying that. So if you bought the On the Horizon palette, you should pull it back out and 
or if you got it new for the sale perfect use it and if you bought it last year like i did pull it back out not on the horizon quintessence or both i think about rearranging them but i don't want to admit that there's like so many shades in them that i won't use I do really enjoy their shimmers. I feel like their shimmers are really standard and like you can apply them with a brush, you can apply them with a finger, like it's gonna just, like you're good. Like you don't have to swell up, you're good. Little creasy this concealer, but I didn't set it, so gotta be realistic. Let's look at blush. Let's look at lipstick. We are going to use Kitten Mischief by Lisa Eldridge. With no liner. This is her Lucent formula. Here is the final look. Do you just have like one little mascara smudge? I'm just going to... Nothing crazy. All right. Let me know if you guys like today's look. Um, if you're enjoying my kind of all over the place try to get ready with me's. I'm just kind of into filming but keeping it casual. So just throwing on the camera when I get ready is really easy to me. And yeah, pull out your Cindy Grace palettes that you bought last year. And the 2021 Christmas in July sale because I know you bought some. Pull those out. And... <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Go follow me on Instagram. I'm always over there. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video.